Hello everyone and welcome to this video. Imagine you've just landed a job as a data scientist at a fast growing tech company. You're going to build an AI powered resume parser using Python and Langchain. The goal is to take a PDF resume, pull out key details like the candidate's name, skills, education, and work experience, and organize everything into a neat format, like JSON or a pandas data frame. This will make it way easier to compare candidates later on. So let's go ahead and see how you can bring this idea to life. Before you get uh, started, here's a quick heads up about the packages you'll need for this project. If you haven't already, go ahead and install these Python packages. They'll help everything run smoothly. So I am going to go ahead and import all the tools you'll need, like pandas for handling data, .nv for keeping secrets safe, and a PDF reader. Think of this as grabbing your toolkit before you start building. All right, before you get started, it's a good idea to load your secret settings from a .env file. This keeps your private info safe and out of your main code. So let's go ahead and run load. This grabs all those hidden environment variables and gets them ready for you to use. Now you're setting the OpenAI API key in your environment so your app knows how to talk to OpenAI securely. Here's the first step in your workflow. Before you can analyze any resume, you need to pull the text out of the PDF file. Most resumes come in as PDFs, so you'll want to turn them into plain text so your AI model can actually read what's inside. You'll use a Python library to read the PDF and grab all the text, setting things up for the next part of your project. So I am going to go ahead and create a function that grabs all the text from a PDF file you give it. It loops through every page and stitches the text together for you. Now you're using that function to pull the text out of a file called resume.pdf and saving it in a variable called resume text. Finally, let's print out the first thousand characters of your resume, just to check that everything worked. Here's what happens next. Once you have the raw text from the resume, you'll want to turn it into a structured format using AI. This is where Langchain and OpenAI's language models come in. By crafting a clear prompt, you can guide the AI to pull out details like the candidate's name, contact info, skills, education, and work experience, and return it all as a JSON object. This makes it much easier to work with the data in your code. So I am going to go ahead and build a template that tells the AI exactly what info to pull out from a resume, like name, email, skills, and more. Now you're setting up your AI model. Here it's GPT 4.1 mini and telling it to keep things nice and steady with zero temperature. Next, you're connecting your template and your AI model together so they can work as a team to process resumes. Here, you're running the whole chain on your resume text and grabbing the structured info the AI finds. All right, before you show the results, it's a good idea to clean things up a bit. You're removing any extra formatting like those triple backticks or the word JSON, so the output looks nice and tidy. And finally, let's print out your structured resume info, ready to use. Please take a moment to like this video as it is going to be a great help and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Now that you've got the structured output from the AI, the next step is to turn it into a format that's easy to analyze. Usually, you'll want to load this JSON data into a pandas data frame. This way, you can quickly view, filter, and work with the information, just like you would in a spreadsheet. This step is super helpful if you want to process lots of resumes or dig deeper into the data later on. So let's go ahead and try to load your JSON data, turn it into a data frame and show it right on the screen. But if anything goes wrong, you'll catch the error and print out what happened. So you know exactly what's up. And that's it. 
You've just built a basic AI powered resume parser using Python, Langchain and OpenAI. From here, you can expand your project by processing batches of resumes, adding features like job matching or even building a user friendly interface with tools like Streamlit. What feature would you add next to make this tool even more useful? Drop your ideas in the comments. Thank you so much for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe my channel and see you next time.